John Corley, I'd like to thank all members of the House and all political parties this morning for uh, supporting this motion and also for government for agreeing to accept it. Uh, I'd also like to ask Minister Noonan and, and Minister Burke and Minister O'Brien to facilitate a meeting of the regional group further to this motion where we might have an unvarnished and unbiased assessment of Irish water and how we might help. I think the last 15 months have proved very challenging uh, for the country and the reality is that COVID has exposed many national vulnerabilities. But one of the burning issues that was topical in the economy pre-COVID was water and it is now certainly back on the agenda again. Global warming has advanced the value of water as a national resource. And I think in Ireland we've had a casual relationship with water in the past, uh, believing it, that it falls from the sky and just meanders into our faucets and our taps. That is not the case. Uh, water is a resource. It needs to be managed and it needs to be paid for. But we need not make a scientific conundrum of this. But nevertheless, we must not think of it as a simple activity that can be achieved for nothing. The issue of water and its provision and supply, its filtration and its treatment have significant implications for the future economic well-being of the population. It is a fact today, Count Corley, that we have an overburdened water supply and waste sewage supply, and the infrastructure is creaking at the seams. We have continuing problems in trying to manage domestic hygiene and commercial purposes of Waterford and to provide efficient wastewater capture and treatment. All of these activities require continuing investment and funding, and the adequate provision of clean water and the associated management of wastewater treatment is having a significant effect on the budgets of our local authorities and on their development plans. Water and wastewater provision is now dictating housing location, housing densities and housing affordability, and it is having a detrimental impact to rural planning and development as new regulations are significantly adding to the cost of house bills and to one-off developer costs. In my constituency of Waterford, Count Corla, I'm aware of a builder who has asked for a €30,000 connection fee by Irish Water to add additional housing to an existing leg. The reason given was because of the costs uh, to upgrade uh, sewage piping. When the, when the developer in question told Irish Water this would make the development unfeasible and unviable to him, he was told that Irish Water's only remit was to recover the costs in the project. This scenario is playing out in every county around the country at present, and it is, as I said, having a significant effect on regional planning. Count Corla, I do not fully understand the cost structures that exist within Irish Water. But I do understand that there is a cost price after which the value of something has to be questioned and often cannot be justified. Water provision is not a luxury uh, purchase in this country. It is a necessity and its competitive provision is directly related to our economic competitive nas nationally and as an exporting nation. We need adequate water treatment and we need the provision to be economically competitive and socially sustainable. And we need a transparent cost structure in Irish water that underpins water service provision, regardless what part of the country you live in. We must never prioritise our national water services, but we must utilise all of the learned efficiencies and intersect with private sector contractors to ensure that the state gets maximum value for money in the provision of development of wastewater services. In regional and rural Ireland, we need planning authority acceptance of private water schemes, private effluent treatment systems, and a willingness to incorporate reed bed filtration as a suitable effluent treatment to small housing clusters. Homeworking is now the new buzzword in the economy, and we cannot have suitable homeworking without addressing a large amount of the infrastructural gaps that we have in the country, and the provision of waste and, and, and water is a significant one of those. We need to reassess the importance of adequate and well-managed water systems in our towns, villages and communities. We need government to reassess the investment they are willing to make in this precious commodity such that it can deliver the financial and social benefits to the people of Ireland, and that includes the people regardless of where they live. This is the basis of this motion to the House today that the regional group have laid, Count Corla. I thank, as said, to all members for uh, respectfully accepting it. I look forward to engaging uh, with government in the future and with regional group colleagues on this. And I'd make one final note, Count Corla. 2,000 years ago, the Romans had a very efficient uh, wastewater and, and, and supply water management system. And surely 2,000 later, with all, two years later, with all of the technology that now exists to us in this country, we can achieve that self-same purpose. Go on, Margaret.